Hello and welcome back to our second Django tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to go ahead and get the m most important part of Django and that's Python because Django would not run without Python. Excuse me, we need Django on our computer. Alright, so we're going to use Python 3 and the latest version is Python 3.5.2. So if you have anything greater than 3.5.2 or 3.5.2 on your machine, you're good to go. Otherwise, you're going to have to download it. So I'm going to take you through that process. So visit python.org. All right, so right up here, python.org. And then go down to Downloads and hover over it. And you'll see right here, Python 3.5.2. All right, if you're on Windows, yours is going to say uh, Windows. Um, mine says Mac. So go ahead and download it. And that will start the download process. I'm going to pause the video until it's done download. There you go. Mine's done downloading so I'll go ahead and open it up now this is pretty simple installing is mainly you're just gonna go click continue con continue and install and then um, close so uh, it's pretty simple to install on your computer um, mine's bouncing around down here taking a good old time so I'll pause the video till it pops up once you open up the installer package, you uh, see this screen here, and it's just an introduction. Uh, you can read it if you like. Uh, I'm not going to read it, so continue. And then the README information, you see this with all software you install on your computer. Yeah, awesome, cool, great, continue. Uh, here's the licensing. You probably should read this whole thing. No, I'm just kidding. Continue. Um, yeah, you're going to click I agree to the license. They didn't take your first child, so don't worry about that. And then our next one's going to go to uh, destination select, keep it where it is, go ahead and hit continue. And installation type, we're going to keep that the same, hit install, and now it's going to go through the installation process. Um, you're going to have to enter your password, so I'll enter mine, boom, and now it will install the uh, software. I'm going to go ahead and pause it until it's done installing and I'll be back and once it's done installing you should see you should see this window installation was successful we can go ahead and close that down now next thing we want to do is make sure we actually got it installed properly so to do that we're gonna to have to open our terminal now there's two ways to open your terminal the first one would be uh, go into your finder um, and being slow then applications and then utilities and then and then wow slow as hell today uh, terminal down here open it up or you can just use a uh, spotlight and hit command spacebar and that bring up spotlight up here and do terminal hit return and this will open up the terminal at some point. Terminal. 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 Oh, there she is. Alright, so we got our terminal. Got it open. Alright, now we want to open the Python interpreter and make sure we got the latest version of Python installed. So, we're going to do this in a two-step process here, uh, just to check to see where you actually have it installed. Now, most Mac users will have it installed under Python 3 as the command to open the interpreter but sometimes screwy things happen and be under Python so we're going to check uh, Windows users you probably just under Python like I said before I am not a Windows user so I can't really help you there so let's do our first check let's do uh, Python All right. and this should bring up Python 2 should I really do apologize with this extreme slowness today. All right, so I paused the video. Um, when I put in Python, I get Python 2.7.10. All right, cool. So that's my Python 2. We're not using that in our project, so but it's good to know where Python 2 is and Python 3. So to get out of that, just press Control D. Oh, Got to be on the screen. Control D that will kill the interpreter and now let's open Python 3 so Python 3 just like that hit return and this should open Python 3 there we go Python 
that is the latest version. That's the one we're going to use in our Django project. With that being said, go ahead and move on to the next video, and we will go ahead and install a virtual environment on our machine. We'll see you then.